everyone, and welcome to our brand new episode of The Three Whisketeers. My name is Jamie, I'm your host. We have our angel here, the hipster Curtis, the happy Honduran Eddie. And as I look out, I see beautiful, shapely, curvaceous bottles of Bushmill. And to have the bottles of Bushmill, we have Melissa and we have Kara. That's so awesome. With that, we have uh, some bread. And it, it, you brought this in. These are your friends. Well, yeah, yours. but we also have burn. We have the great burn Tanya. <laughs> and also, do we want to introduce Yes, off camera. camera. Michelle, off our camera. producer. <laughs> the assistant producer the assistant for producer. the day. We got a full house. We got a full house we over here. We couldn't be happier. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Can I ask where is the great chicken Uh There on the northwest side of Rapids. And she does the farmer's market in Iowa. She has like 40 different varieties of bread. That's all artisan awesome. bread. And I asked the managers of the that ever, okay. uh, would she do some Irish shortbread? Well, I'm sorry, she does your soda bread. And she said she would. And then we got into the discussion and she did a traditional. And she did one with currants, which is sweeter. And she did one with caraway seeds. So Eddie brought something special to go with it. Oh, that's right. Uh, I've had this, uh, I tasted this at a, at a gr grocery store. It's called Gar Kerrygold. It's a company from Ireland. And what they do is they have uh, grass-fed cows and they make everything uh, the way that old Irish uh, model of how to make stuff like cheese, butter, just uh, obviously stuff that we learned. They we, turn it? They oh, turn, they it. turn it. Kara, Kara, not like this. <laughs> <laughs> turn it. You know what? I don't know how they turn it because it's kind of a secret. I just know it tastes really good, and it's just uh, it's, it's not it's not grain fed cows. It's just it's just grass fed hot cows. Uh, it's very natural and it's really tasty, and I love it. So it's butter. It's butter. Butter. Okay. Butter. Kerry gold. They make cheese. They make all kinds of crazy stuff. And which grocery store do you get that? Most uh, high Most high yeah. In Sam's yeah. Club. I've never had it. I'm looking forward to having it. Yeah. Um, Curtis, you want to start um, with what, which of the Bushmills you want to start with? You want to describe what we're going to have? Well, Bushmills is the oldest distillery in Ireland. Licensed distillery. And it, uh, it's like 390 years old. And these are, well, they're most famous. One, white, black, and red. And the black is called Black Bush, and the red, of course, is called Red Bush. And a uh, very interesting story about that, but I don't think we should tell it. So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to so laugh about it, though. Bush? This is the white bush. The white, right. white bush. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to fill, well, not fill, but we're going to put some in everybody's glass. And then we'll do the red bush, and then we'll do the black bush. And then we can taste them and decide which we like the best. Which bush is best. Which right. bush is best. Ooh, that's right up my alley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mercy. I'm going to enjoy this show. Wow. <laughs> and then we'll do red bush. Now, red bush is newer, and it's finished in bourbon barrels. Ooh. Yeah, so it's sweeter. Uh, from America. Yeah. Bourbon barrels from America. Okay. It would have to be, wouldn't it? That's right. We only make bourbon in America. Thus far. Mm -hmm. This is sweet. Wink, wink. This, one's so this will be sweet. sweeter. It okay. will be sweeter. It won't be sweet. <clears throat> it will be sweeter. It's a little darker. Yeah. That's that, you know, nice bourbon, bourbon. char. Yeah. Although I doubt that you'll actually have much of a char. Thank you for. And then, of course, black bush. I remember doing uh, red bush and black bush before mm -hmm. here. Stay with it. Sometime. Yeah, I think I'm. Well. That's right so far, right? And yeah. now we have the black bush. There you go. So I'll go ahead and let you. I don't want to reach. Over. And I will not say <laughs> which is my favorite because it doesn't really matter. Might be a little oh. dust on the bottle, huh? We all know what his favorite is, anyways. Black bush. Which? Uh, boy, it's gonna be Yeah. Right. This one. <laughs> And if we have one second, you know, I have more bottles. No problem. Mm. Oh, okay. See, I knew I loved you. Oh, I love the way that smells. Isn't that smell great? So we're going to sample the white bush first, correct? Right. Okay. Correct. Right. So, okay. What's the are we going to talk? Are we going to? Are we going to talk about? The, okay. Go ahead, Kara. What is the best way for someone who's new mm -hmm. to drinking this to fully enjoy it? Great well, question. First off, I think you should really smell Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Fumes. 
Like, like I said earlier before the cameras were rolling, the perfume nearly beats the taste. Wish I came up with that, but that was Pete Townsend. And he was talking about really? cognac. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. You, know what, you know what I really like when I'm trying whiskey is I'll take a little bit, let it roll over my tongue, the other little under my tongue. That way I can get the aroma up through my nose and I'll just let it sit there before I swallow it. Oh way my it, gosh. It permeates your taste buds all the way back and you kind of get it if there's a little burn to it or if it's smooth really feel that. That's fantastic because yeah. I do the same thing. Yeah. I roll it on my tongue and I let the fumes come out of my nose. Yep. I, I'll yeah, blow it's, it's, out my mouth just a yeah, little bit. Yeah. She's yeah. more natural than I am. Oh, oh absolutely. She, she, she nailed it. <laughs> you don't even need me here. I think I'll just go upstairs. <laughs> That's very well described. I'm scared. Great job. What happens upstairs. Okay, now, remember, we're going to try each of them and compare them okay. and then decide which we like the best. Yeah. Should we talk about what each uh, bush means? Like, White bush, red bush, well, what's what's the difference? Or do See, they're aged a minimum of three years each. Okay. And just three of them are just different styles then? White, well, before we try white. Yeah. Find out what... Oh, sorry, I tried it. Smooth and... Oh, well, we can try it again. Smooth okay. Yellow, I will Smooth agree with that. So let's talk about this one, thing. find out how... Okay. Yeah. The white bush. The white bush. This, this, this is the one which is the most common one. Okay. The white bush, that's what... Bush mills, that's... What, they're known for. Okay. This okay. One. And how yeah. much is a bottle of the white? Well, it's the a larger white. bottle, remember. Okay. okay. Uh, I think I paid 35 for that. Okay. And you can buy this in local grocery stores? Yes. Oh, you can buy I, that anywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. It's one of those nice Irish whiskeys that's very much available and so much better than... It's like an everyday drinker. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, it says it. Put it over ice. Bushmill started in 1608. That is... That's yeah. It's been around. Longer than you, I think. So much better than... <laughs> Jameson. 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 Which I'm not talking... Um, we're not talking bad about Jameson. I think they're actually pretty decent. I like their single cast black label. So there's nothing on the bottle for you to read. I think you're off. I think I'm off. I'm off this week. This thank you. Thank you. Uh, give you a break. Thank you, Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> for the break. Okay, now the red label is... Should we try the white before we oh. uh, move on to the red? I thought you did. You time to keep No, going. I mean, oh, I'm supposed to be. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's try it. Smooth and mellow. Do you agree with that? Does everybody agree that that's uh, something you feel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do, do, are you getting a lot of burn? All I, the way down. This is, this is, uh, mellow I would say all the way down? fresh would be more like it. I don't think it's smooth and mellow. I like it. Um, I think it doesn't like kick your butt, but it, you definitely feel the burn and you feel it explode. Well, like the fresh hmm. taste. My tummy. I think it's kind of smooth. Mouth. Actually, it doesn't have it doesn't have sure. a bite to it. It doesn't I'm, have a I'm burn. Okay. I, but you I, want to compare, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. One of the questions that we have in previous episodes is, "What does smooth mean to you?" Yeah, that is that is. Um, smooth means it doesn't make me make that face that she just. Yeah. Made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's uh, it, it doesn't have for me. It doesn't have that burn that follows all the way down. Mm -hmm. It's just more of a of a smooth feeling. Yeah, yeah, it's smooth. It's smooth. Yeah, yeah. they're more. They're it's better warm. than uh, it's, it's most warm. a lot of people that we it talk to. It doesn't burn. Oh yeah. Yeah. What do you? Th is that how you feel too? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I mean, when you say smooth, when no, no, tell you us. say it's a smooth whiskey, I need to try that, the is that other, how you feel though? I, I want to uh, try the other ones before okay. I decide. In general. Smoother. In general, when you say it's smooth, you feel like how she described it. Yeah, I, I think so. Okay. Yeah. I think what is the most common response that you, we found when we talk to people that sell it? The most common re uh, response from the retailers, they say that people think smooth means sweet. No. Yeah. No, it, it really doesn't mean sweet. That's not what sweet. I would think mm -hmm. for smooth. No. no. I mean, um, I would say that this is definitely consistent the whole way. The way it hits you, the way it goes down, the way it burns. It's not like one is more powering than the other one. It's it's easy drinking. It's just, it's just there's a, a freshness. Percent. Yeah, there's a freshness to it. I agree with that. Fresh, 100. percent We want to move on to the red now. Okay. Red. Smell. Red, red, red. Ooh, smells kind of reddish. <laughs> I. Um, this is supposed to be a bourbon cast. Is you can't taste the bourbon. You can't taste the the, the oak. You can't at taste the end. it. At the, yeah. end, at the end, I taste a little bit of white After. oak. Yeah. At the end, at the end, I taste the white oak. But I think they. This is triple distilled, and I mean, <laughs> uh, if you look at the front, it says here, triple distilled Wrong. Irish whiskey. 
Wrong, wrong, wrong bottle. I know, but they're all okay. say triple okay. distilled. Okay. So I think they like that mm. really. They want to make sure that they take everything that they put in it and kind of smooth it out. To me, that's why it's triple filtered. Because I can taste, I didn't taste the oak in the beginning. It was until the end, and I'm like, okay, that's white oak. And it sticks with you a little bit. Yeah, exactly. at the end. Yeah. Yeah. For me. What were your impressions? Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Any one behind the camera want to say anything? Now, so far as we're into two <laughs> like of them, <laughs> what were your thoughts on the two? Um, I, I, I like the oak. I like the oak. Did you think the red was actually maybe sweeter? Yes, I like the red better also. Yeah. I think I think you need more in your class. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Curtis, when was the last time you had this? <laughs> She's just oh, began. I don't know, a few months ago. But you go to them every so so often, or you revisit them, or <laughs> I love Blackbush. <laughs> You know, <laughs> she getting hot. She getting too hot. <laughs> I, I always try to keep uh, bottles of this around because it's always a really go-to. And, and some people don't like the intensity of black bush, so the red bush slightly sweeter. Mm. But the black is your favorite. Black is my your favorite. Choice. That's my choice. Gosh, right. I can't wait to taste should the black. We, should we move on to the black? We should move yep, on to the black. black. And remember, right we smell. We're going to do the uh, black. We're smell. going to do the black. <laughs> you think this one's yours? No, I like that. No, we'll you thought you were hot. Now you're going to just... Woo! <laughs> can't stop laughing. <laughs> that is my favorite. <gasps> That's why you got the Goblin 12. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That, this is awesome. is, that is tasty. Yes, isn't very that tasty? Much so. Yes, smooth. That is very oh. smooth. Even that's all like, the way across that's your like palate. Butter. I don't know what that butter is like. But this is like butter. Yeah. yeah. That's right over. Yes. <laughs> well, okay. We have real good. We have light butter. It's, yes, I like this one. We have licatree. We have licatree. <laughs> um, you know what? Um, the smoke on this one's not as strong at the end as the red. But there, it, it is there. But it, mm. this is what I would consider smooth. Yes. Because it just goes through even, and it's just very clean, and you just get the little bit of smoke in there, and it's like, whoa, this is like, this is next level stuff. I think. It's like sweet right before you swallow it. Yeah. I yeah. Yeah. It is. Did sweet. we want to do? Speaking of butter, do we want to go ahead and start hacking up some bread? Hack sure. Up some bread, man. And while you do that, I'm going to go get some more glasses. And honestly, I think that if I had to choose and number these one to three, I would go with the black, the white, and then the red because I am not. You are.